The word of the day today is novelty. Every time I say the word novelty, a church is converted into an art studio. Amen. Green Day has partnered with a very serious art studio to reimagine their 1994 hit record, Dookie. Throughout the rest of this video, I will be pronouncing it Dookie. Get used to it. Together, not only have they reimagined these tracks, but they degraded them and made them sound worse in every single way. And today, I want to tear into this story with no regard for human life or emotion. But before I do, hi, hello, hey, welcome. My name is Dan Frampton, and I am the originator of technical post-cyberpunk math rock. Either that or I just make traditional, old-fashioned, home-style YouTube videos. I forget which one. If you remember, please let me know down in the comments. Because did you know, I reply to every single comment left within the first three hours of uploading. Three Hour Gang is serious business and we're gearing up for the heist of the decade. Stick around until the very end for a very special secret surprise. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's do some crimes. So that very serious art studio that I mentioned at the top is called Brain. And down here, you can tell they're a very serious art studio because they tell you, okay? And all we gotta do is click on Dookie Demastered. Look at this, Demastered, beautiful. Now essentially, what these guys have done is they took all these dead formats from bygone eras and made the songs from Dookie fit them. So we got the floppy disk, we got the Teddy Ruxpin, we got the Fisher Price, and today, we're gonna go through all these formats and we're gonna listen to just a sample just to see how ruined these songs have gotten. And if you can't tell by now, I'm a little bit tongue-in-cheek. I really do appreciate this art project. And because it is demastering the tracks, they took that concept and applied it to this website. Because look at this logo right now, how it says Dookie, right? As we scroll down, look how it demasters itself. The quality just degrades lower and lower as we scroll lower and lower. This kind of detail is amazing. This is more than an art project. And not only is it an art project that they took all these songs and put them on all these dead formats, then they sold these dead formats. So you could get like the Teddy Ruxpin disc, plug it into a Teddy Ruxpin and have it go crazy for you. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just take our time. There's a lot to digest here. You see all these dead formats around here. You're like, oh my god, demastered. What are they going to do? Is that a toothbrush? What is going on here? And yep, that is what we're talking about. So let's just take this track at a time and see how they did. The first track, Burnout on Player Piano Roll. Already off to a very creative start. I wouldn't have even conceived of a notion to put a song on this format. But here we go. The description reads, Captioned on perhaps the most revolutionary musical format of the jazz age, this arrangement of Green Day's Burnout is compatible with most player pianos manufactured in the past 100 years. Lyrics have been printed alongside in the margin making it easy for friends and acquaintances to sing along in your parlor, drawing room, or saloon. Piano not included. God damn, I really hope someone that got this actually has a player piano to play it on. Look at this beautiful scroll. There it is with the lyrics on the side. So cool, so creative. All of that is whatever. How does it sound? Sounds amazing. I love it. I might as well put these on a tier list as we go through this. I'm gonna call this A tier for now. I might move it up. Moving on, the second track. Having a blast on floppy disc. We see it getting set up on that old style 1990s PC. There's the floppy disc right there. God damn, that is gorgeous. I already like this more than the player piano one. And maybe that's just because I have more nostalgia attached to this kind of item. The 3.5 inch floppy was a mainstay of computing for years. Now it's home to Green Day's Having a Blast. The song has been encoded at an uncompromising 16 kilobits per second and can be listened to via an EXE that 
allows both play and pause functionality. The real audio version is included as well as the TXT file with lyrics. Remember, piracy is a crime. Please do not reproduce or redistribute. All that's wonderful. How does it sound? <laughs> I love it. It is absolutely demastered and degraded to the 10th degree. I'm gonna keep this one in A tier though. I'm not gonna go quite S tier yet. The next track went for $99, and this is the one that everyone's talking about. This is Chump on the Teddy Ruxpin. Now you're familiar with the Teddy Ruxpin looks like, right? You got just like a Teddy Ruxpin over here. You used to be able to put like tapes in them or whatever, and he would sing along to the songs as they would play at you in the 1980s or whatever. So I have big expectations for this one. Teddy Ruxpin was an animatronic stuffed animal that told stories and sang lullabies to millions of children in the 1980s. Now, for the first time, he could also sing Chump by Green Day. A pre-loved Teddy comes with a cassette tape featuring an eight-channel recording of Chump, including synchronized eye and snout movement. D-cell batteries not included. All right, that's great. Give me those sonic waveforms. Well, would you look at that? It's time for me to sing Chump, my favorite track on Dookie. <laughs> The way that it sounds like the tape is stretching and contracting, bending like an elastic as it's playing through a Teddy Ruxpin that's being fully synchronized with eye and snout movements. Ooh, I'm tempted. I am certainly tempted to S tier this. Yeah, we're going we're going S tier for the Teddy Ruxpin. I think that's obvious, right? Next track, Long View on a doorbell. Hmm. Okay, I am very intrigued. What could that even mean? Well, that's a doorbell with a dookie sticker. Okay, as far as an art project, that's very nice. You're in a house with unlocked doors and no one's calling. But what if someone does come by? Get alerted with this stylish modern doorbell featuring Green Day's Long View. Every time the wireless button is pressed, it plays the intro to the song reimagined on tubular bells for that stately welcoming sound okay perfect let's see just how stately <laughs> that is incredible oh my fucking god i love that a tier what do we have here welcome to paradise on a game boy cartridge for 39 dollars are you kidding me? We might have some company for Teddy Ruxman up there. Look at that cartridge. My God, what I would do to get my hands on that. And then the graphic on the screen. God almighty. Yeah, before I even hear it, you know this is going S tier. This fully playable version of Welcome to Paradise will immerse you in the world of a small apartment in Oakland, California. Search out the record to play this full 8-bit rendition of your favorite song. Listen till your thumbs are sore and play again. Game system not included. Incredible. Let's give this a couple bars. Oh yeah, that's S tier. I might actually need to take this track and use it as backing music in all my videos going forward. Let's give it one more sample before we move on. Yeah, that rules. I love that with every fiber of my being. Next song. Pulling teeth on a toothbrush. <laughs> okay, all right. This might be one of the more interesting ones. What do we got here? Yeah, an electric toothbrush with the dookie decal. Very cool, very cute. How much did it sell for? $49. With a built-in bone conducting speaker, this toothbrush plays Green Day's pulling teeth while you brush. Very clever song choice to be played on a toothbrush. Pulling teeth. I hope it doesn't pull teeth and just brushes teeth. You'd only hear it when it's in your mouth. Bone conducting audio. I hate it. I hate that so much. It, it's so clever though. From an art piece perspective, yeah, that's kind of S tier. But the sound is brutal. I need to feel that on my teeth to know for sure. So I'm putting this in C tier for now, which I know feels kind of criminal. No, I can't. I'll be here. What do we got next? Oh, we got the other one that is drawing eyes and clicks online. We got basket case on big mouth Billy Bass. Look at the Billy Bass over here. Billy Bass with the dookie sticker and everything. Good God, I want one of these. The iconic 90s basement decor meets the iconic 90s album. 
This animatronic singing fish performs basket case, including head, mouth, and tail movements. Activated by button. Wow. <laughs> Okay, it's pretty sick. I do not like it as much as Teddy Ruxpin or the Game Boy thing, but I will put it top of A tier. Next track, She on the Hit Clip. The early aughts miniature music system Hit Clips was known for playing tiny cartridges of songs by teen idols, but never any by Green Day. These all new cartridges finally correct that oversight allowing she to be played on any compatible hit clips players boombox not included all right good write up love that cartridge that's delicious looking with the little carabiner thing on there i think is the clip in the hit clip name all right how's it sound All right, I like it. A tier. A tier for sure. Very cute, very cool. $29. Next song. Sassafras Roots on 8 track. I don't know what more I could say. This is just going to be this song on this incredible format. Dude, this thing is so cool already. S tier. And you know it's going to sound amazing. 8 track. Oh, that satisfying click. Oh. 8 tracks better than vinyl. That's awesome. Sure, it doesn't have any animatronic bear going along to it. It isn't reimagined on a completely new format like a Game Boy. It is just music on a music format. But god damn, do I have a high appreciation for that. Recorded to the dominant magnetic tape format of the 60s and 70s, Sassafras Roots is now easier than ever to enjoy on your 8-track hi-fi system at home or in the passenger seat of your 67 Camaro. Driving towards the sunset with high school behind you and your whole life in front of you. Like any 8 track it includes four programs unlike most eight tracks it only includes one song incredible i love it i love it so very very much i'm not used to green day pop punk major label rock and roll bands doing things that are this cool doing things that are this out of the box this creative and it's not like green day did it they just like signed over the license to this very serious art studio to do it when i come around on wax cylinder holy sh the gramophone really all right best played on the model c holy dude yeah i love this project i love this project so much Here's the wax cylinder. Yeah, you can see right through it. Good stuff. Yeah. Do you mean to tell me a whole song is on this wax cylinder? All right. If you say so. Wax cylinders revolutionized music, making the mass distribution of recorded music possible for the first time. Now, one century later, Green Day's When I Come Around is available on a two-minute wax cylinder, ready to be heard on gramophone. If only Edison had lived long enough to see it. I am thoroughly entertained, and I haven't even heard the quality of this song yet. All right, let's do it. Ooh, it sounds awful. That sounds like the right kind of awful, though. Oh my god, that sounds almost like that stretch and bend elastic equality that I was talking about earlier, but times a hundred. <laughs> It sounds awful, but the novelty of this wax cylinder on gramophone, Green Day, When I Come Around, that's incredible. I am going to put that in A tier. Next track, Coming Clean on X-Ray Record. Well, that's a... Uh... That's X-Ray Record right there. It's very tiny. X-Ray Records, also known as Ribs or Bone Music, originated in the USSR in the 1950s as a way to bootleg band Western music. By cutting grooves into actual X-Rays, music could be copied and distributed outside official channels. Green Day's Coming Clean has been etched into real X-Rays in the same method, creating a recording that is uniquely unmatched in its specifically terrible quality. Quality. Best played at 70 RPM. Oh, 70 RPM, you say? Holy smokes, let's go. Oh. That static is too much. I mean, it's very cool to be able to play music on an x ray, and the fact that it is a bootlegged method of listening to music is gaining it points. But I can't put this thing any higher than. Oh, B tier. B tier. Amenia Sleepus on the answering machine. Now, if you grew up in the 90s, you definitely had an answering machine in your house. Maybe it had those little tiny cassette tapes that played inside of it or whatever. This one doesn't look like it's that kind what? of thing. You have one new message. That's Charlie.
Holy shit, that sounds awful. That is really bad. That was awful to listen to. And the answering machine, not really a cool device. More utilitarian than anything else. Kind of in the same line as that like doorbell or whatever. I don't know, dude. We're going like C tier for this. I'm not even gonna read the description of it. Let's just go to the next song. In the end on mini disc. Mini discs promise to bring music into the future by combining the best parts of CDs and cassettes. Fate had other plans. But those keeping the dream alive can still enjoy this reissue of In The End, ready to be played on your favorite mini disc system. Oh god, that's so sick looking. Man, when mini discs were around, people really did think they were gonna be the future. But they didn't even experience a moment in the sun, let alone the moment in the sun. Oh, it sounds awesome though. We're going, oh man, no, we're going B tier. We're going B tier with this one. Next track. Are you kidding? FOD on the Fisher Price record. Look at this Fisher Price record over here. That is wild. The Fisher Price record player is known for breakout hits like Humpty Dumpty, London Bridge, and Camp Town Races. Now it can also play Green Day's FOD, reimagined in an all new C major arrangement, and realized as a series of small plastic bumps. Works on vintage mechanical toy record players only. Player not included. Gotta give it a crank. Drop the needle. <laughs> Cute and clever, B tier, $19. Yeah, that's about right. Next one. All right, this is the album closer. This is All By Myself on the Music Box. Crank it as long as you want with All By Myself, arranged for the first time on a hand cranked music box. Take it away. That's beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. And here's the music box itself for anybody wondering how it looks. There it is with the translucent plastic case so you can see the inner workings. I love that. Hand cranked music box, S tier. So as much as they degraded and demastered, they did not devalue these songs. I think that this is such a step up and a very clever, creative way of marketing a 30 year anniversary of a thing. Great job. Absolutely wonderful job. 10 out of 10, knocked it out of the park. I've never seen anything quite like this before in my life. That was Green Day, Dookie, reimagined on all sorts of dead media. I've been Dan Frampton. I just made a YouTube video. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end. And I promised you a very special secret surprise here at the end, and that is you're in Endgang for life. Too sweet, me brother. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Until my next upload, watch another upload. Take care and have a good one.